Today we'll look at the Form Titan app for Salesforce, um, which enables us to generate documents from within Salesforce. Um, we'll see how to use it in the Lightning platform. So after installing the package, um, the Form Titan package, we get Lightning components for um, standard objects, which in this instance are leads, opportunities, accounts, contacts, and cases. Um, we'll see how, in, in, in this example, we'll, we'll see how to use opportunities. Um, after we install it, we get this button right over here. It's called FD Generate. Uh, it's it's um, a button based on a Lightning component. It's called FD Generate Document. Um, once we initially press it, we see that we need to configure uh, custom settings. Uh, we'll see how to do that in just a moment. So we have created here uh, an example, a PDF uh, example, that basically pulls in the opportunity information and displays the, the total of the opportunity and the, and the product information, all the products on the, on the uh, opportunity, description, um, the order number, the address of the account, and this is our PDF. So <clears throat> if we want to use the button, um, we'll need to, to configure this first. So we go to the settings, um, we hit Salesforce button, hit configure. We'll need to select our object, which is an opportunity. We'll need to tell Form Titan what is the, the Form Titan field that will pull in the information. In our instance, it's the opportunity ID, which is a hidden um, that will map into the opportunity ID and then Form Titan will be able to pull in all the opportunity information. And what we need to do to make it work, we need to use this custom setting URL. We'll need to take that, copy this URL, and go to Setup. And Setup will search custom settings we will see our managed form titan package custom setting and what we're looking for is this one over here private url we'll hit edit and in the url we'll paste in what we have what what we got from the settings and the form titan pdf Okay, we've saved that. Now, if we go back to the opportunity, and we'll hit FD Generate Document, then we will see this window, which enables us to either view and download our PDF. Let's watch it work. Okay, so this is our PDF. It pulled in all the information from the opportunity. And we can either print it or download it, etc. And once we hit generate, then it will generate the PDF. And we will see it in a moment in the notes and attachments. Um, let's take a look at our get and push. Okay, so we have um, two elements that we're pushing. One of them is that the, the attachment. It's the old way of creating attachments with Salesforce. It works perfectly fine with, actually with both, but in, with both uh, platforms, the Classic and the Lightning. But in the Lightning, it doesn't uh, show as nicely. You can only download it and you cannot view it. So over here, we created a file, which is the content version. Let's look at the mapping over here. Um, this is the new object of creating uh, attachments. They, uh, it's called files, and this is our mapping. And <clears throat> let's look at our get. We have we're getting the opportunity by the opportunity ID. This is our condition. Uh, opportunity IDs are hidden, which we're mapping the opportunity ID into that. Um, hidden and then we're able to pull in the opportunity information. Um, 
and then we're getting all the products in that opportunity just like so um, let's take a look at our notes and attachments and the opportunity we just generated the PDF for and as we can see we have uh, um, two uh, notes and attachments. One of them is the all attachment, which if I click it, then it will download to my computer and we can view it that way. Or this is the file, and then we can preview it just like so with the lightning. Um, the other thing that we will need to do is to set up our permissions for the files for the PDF files. So we'll go to my account. We'll go to collaborators. Let me just delete this real quick. We will need to do add collaborators from Salesforce. We hit search users. That will give you all the users in your organization. You select the user. Right now I'm selecting my own user. And you will see here a list of all your forms. And then you can give uh, permissions for certain users to do different actions either just submit or edit and once you apply it when form titan knows that that user has a uh, submission or edit permission for that PDF um, the next thing we can do is we can go to the list of opportunity and we'll select here all opportunities then we can, right now it's not showing because we didn't add it to the layout. So we'll go quickly to the setup. We'll go to object, object manager. We'll select our opportunity object. Go to page layout. We're looking for Our no, we're looking for my bad. We're looking for our search layout. Um, we already added it to our regular layout. Um, we're looking for the list view layout. Let's add to this, and we need to add this. This comes with the package. Um, FT generate document lightning. We'll add it to the layout. Hit save. Refresh this layout over here. And now we have it. So we hit FT generate document. We'll give it a moment. And if we hit generate, it will generate the PDF for the two opportunities that we have selected. <clears throat> so I'm going to generate this and hit back. Let's take a look at our submissions. And we see a new submission, that's a button. Let's refresh this, give it a moment, and it will be there. Um, meanwhile, let's take a look at our other option which is to generate a PDF using a uh, workflow and an outbound message. Let's see how this works. So we'll go to PDF mapping, hit edit, go to settings, and as you can see we have a Salesforce workflow outbound message. Let's hit configure. Just like before, we'll need to select our object, which currently is an opportunity. We'll set the mapping. Again, this mapping means which what is the form ID that we'll be using to pull in the information. So our form ID is OP ID, and our Salesforce field is the opportunity ID. Okay, so this is what we need. Oh, so what we need to grab from here, most important part, is to grab this endpoint URL. And we'll see how to use that in just a second. Meanwhile, let's see take a look at our submissions, we see that we have four new attachments, two for each object, 
two for each opportunity. We select the two opportunities, so if I'll go to uh, this guy over here, we will see the PDFs that were generated for that opportunity. <coughs> there we go. Now let's take a look at our workflow and outbound message. So to set it up, we'll need to go to workflow, go to workflow rules. Let's add a new rule. We'll select our object. Next, generate PDF. Um, let's give Let's say that stage equals closed one. Save and next. Let's create our outbound message, new outbound message. <coughs> okay. Um, the only thing that we need to get from Form Titan is the endpoint URL, which is this guy over here. We'll go back to our settings. Over here, I don't need to add any fields because the ID is already selected. The ID is the opportunity ID. We'll hit save. Done. Let's activate this workflow. Okay, so this workflow is activated. Let's go back to our opportunities. Okay, let's just delete these attachments so we can see this working. And delete this guy over here. And let's go back to the record. Now let's edit this guy. The stage. Let's set the stage to close one. We'll save this. Okay, now let's see what happens. Okay, let's take a look at our submissions. Okay, we have a new Salesforce outbound message. Now all we got to do is wait a few seconds and the PDFs will be generated. This is our record over here. Refresh this. Don't come in yet. Okay. It's coming in, we have one attachment. Now we'll wait for the file. We have the file as well. Let's refresh the, the object. And voila, we have both of them here. Let's take a look at it, a beautiful PDF. And that's it. Enjoy. <laughs>